Five. of struggling for recognition of finally uh, getting their chance to ride at metropolitan tracks. Only against each other though. Uh, but they're confident one day of saddling up against the, the likes of Roy Higgins, Malcolm Johnston, Johnny Letts and the others. Uh, Twelve lady jockeys uh, battle down the straight today at Melbourne's Mooney Valley Racetrack in the Qantas Channel 7 ladies handicap over 1600 metres. Graham Kelly went to the track to see how the men were taking it. They've been waiting a long time for it and then, um, you know, they are well, they're good to watch, and uh, they need to go to see how they do go, you know. You don't feel threatened by them? Oh, no, no, no way at all. They're in racing all over the world, and I suppose it's only a matter of time when it uh, more or less reaches Australia. Do you think it's a bit late reaching Melbourne? I don't think so. Uh, I think uh, everyone's a little bit surprised it's come so early. I guess you have to be a bit more careful the way you run around the corridors now. Yeah, well, uh, we can't duck in the next, next room, unfortunately. Yes, we're going to have to re just remember what we're doing a bit now, aren't we? You know, we have to tighten up the pants all the time and uh, not be wandering out of half dressed or anything like that. Well, as a matter of fact, they've been coming around borrowing things off us. So. <laughs> what sort of things? Oh, a helmet and a few little things. Boots. My boots, a pair of boots. So I think they're exceptional. They're sort of treating it as a bit of a joke today, but I think eventually they'll have to treat it really seriously. Oh, well, they say uh, it's equal rights, so, uh, you know, they don't greatly worry me. Well, you're the top female rider in Europe. I guess you've probably heard about the great Australian habit of being a male chauvinist pig. Have you seen well, the evidence? I wouldn't say exactly that, but I'd heard that um, something like that. <laughs> Have you run into any examples Not of Not at all, no, nothing. What about the other male jockeys? How have they been treating you? Um, the ones I've met are great. Peter, what about you personally as, as the shortest jockey in Victoria? Do you, do you feel threatened by these women? Not at all. I've never been threatened by a woman yet. I think after today, when the girls show how they can really ride, I think they'll consider having a few more. Mark, what do you think about the women finally making it to Melbourne? Well, I've got a vested interest in this race today because I own the favourite in the race, so I hope that she rides very well. I own Michael Lover, he's a favourite in the race, a pre-post favourite. But I want to get out there and um, lick, it, lick up my jockey if I can. I'm, I'm allowed, the wife won't let me. Would you prefer to be riding against the men? Oh yes, because we're going to learn so much more. You know, to really smarten all us girls up. We know one another pretty well, except in a meeting like this where we have, we know, you know, but we're still ridden against quite a few of each other here. And we would really improve out of sight. I personally don't like it riding on the track. Why is that? Well, I just think it's a dangerous sport. It's a man's sport. What about the claim? Some people say that uh, your world is not a very feminine one. How would you answer that? I wouldn't think they know what they're talking about. You don't feel any less feminine because you are a woman, Joe? Not in the least. No. How do you feel about the race today? I'll be glad it's over. And here's McLuhan with a searching run from the rear. The lash using the whip vigorously. Cheryl Neal from Queensland. She's going to win it, I reckon. On the outside, the Queensland girl dashes McLuhan to the lead now. Battling on his happy tippler like a lover and cardinal sin. But a great exhibition of riding by the girl from Queensland, Cheryl Neal. Lands McLuhan at two.